My name is Rachel Rogers and I'm an aquarist here at the Greensboro Science Center and I work with the corals and giant clam. Well, we noticed a while back that the hinge on the clam was starting to degrade. So after monitoring it for some time, we made the decision that it was time to reinforce that hinge. To fix the problem, we made a hinge out of metal that would be safe in salt water. And then we measured where we wanted to put it on the clam. And then we put a marine grade epoxy and literally plastered it onto the bottom of that clam. Dr. Sam used the Dremel tool to kind of make some rough patches so that the epoxy would have a really good area to adhere to. So it's a two-part epoxy, so you take the two pieces and you just mold it together until it becomes one uniform color. And that will set over time and become very hard. So Dr. Sam had a vet class with him that were observing the procedure. I just used the turkey baster to try and keep the underside of that hinge moist because we had him out of his exhibit for quite some time. Even though he was still in appropriate water, I didn't want the part that was exposed to the air to get dried out. So I was just making sure that it remained moist. So when he was finished with the procedure, we put him back in his system and we wanted to make sure that that curing epoxy wouldn't touch anything. So we made a cushion for him out of hose that we weighted down with some gravel so that he was able to sit up and still have that epoxy cure intact. I do like my job. I like the art aspect of it, that you get to create these beautiful like living landscapes that you get to show to people who may not otherwise see a coral reef in their lifetime. And to have all the different aspects working together, the fish and the corals and the invertebrates and the giant clam all come together to create this beautiful masterpiece.